Nope. Not that kind of spark. That's right, folks. We got War of the Spark. Is it Dev here? Jimmy P. Rod of Peach Productions opening special. That's right. War of the Spark release continues. We got boxes for you now. Yeah, the pre release fever is over. It's time to get into the goods. We got packs on packs on packs. Shout out Sports and More. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get right into it then, huh? First week's in, War of the Spark. People are loving it. Seeing a bunch of crazy decks on MCG Arena. Oh, we got Atomic, the Distinguished Advocate. Because land hate is real. Oh, what is that? What's the name? That's the Tomic. Tomic. I think that's a long term, long term deal. I actually, I didn't see very many of those. No, me neither. Oh, uh, TCG player, three dollars and eighty six cents. Oh wow. Well, yeah, he's. I mean, I think he's gonna be pretty good long term. Oh, we got a foil rare here, Bio Essence Hydra. Ooh. On top of the Soren. That was a That's a nice pack. That was a nifty pack right there. Got our foil rare right out of the way. It wasn't a foil nickel bullish, but <laughs> there's still time. Alright. Oh, uh Nixie. Ah. Uh. Roll reversal. Oh, that can't be more than a nickel. No, <laughs> a little more than that. That, that foil bio essence is going for three dollars and fourteen cents. Currently, TCG player prices. I got a Dovin Vito. I think that's a dollar card right there at the uncommon slot. The old Dovin Vito got another got a Spark Double. Nice. I, I I really like Spark Double. It's kind of like a poor man's Sakashima. All of these prices are as of Monday, May the sixth. By the way, if you're curious when we're filming this. Oh, Jimmy, it's. It's your girl. Oh! Oh! She is. It's Stop a... telling people. She's mine. I'll just tell you to look away when I cast her. <laughs> so rough. And we got our uh, plain wide celebration and a foil guild globe. Mm. That's nifty looking. It's globey. We got Davriel. Oh, Davriel. Casualties of War and a Breeding Edge. Oh, dang. Dude. There's some foil action going on here. There's some pretty foils, guys. Some pretty foils. You know, I've noticed that about the set. So much lightning and like... Shiny. Just, I don't know, they the really wanted those foils to pop. They did a good job working around it, too. Mm-hmm. Good job. We got a Vivian. Ooh. She's flashy. Her in her fancy ways. I'm seeing a elf tribal deck. That uh, Vivian is going for $5 all day on TCG Player. Our first mythic finale oh. of Revelation. Oh, I think. Wah, wah. Long term. It's a long term. It'll get better with time. It's not even showing up uh, in my uh, <laughs> cards to look for. Yeah, uh, <laughs> showed two of the other ones. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh wow, that's that's weird. Finale of Promise, right there. Ooh, now that's a good one. Does that mean we're gonna open two more mythics and get our four mythics in the first stack? That'd be crazy. Is that how that? That's two dollars and twelve cents on that Finale of Revelation. Nope. Oh, the Kaya. Kaya. That could make it in standard. It oh, is. I mean, she's such a good card. It's a three-drop lightning bolt. That finale of Promise lightning is hits. going for $5.65. Oh, rubbery. It's finale of financiality. Oh. We got a $3 Ashiok and a, what, a $1 Parhelion? Mm, Parhelion. $1, maybe, if we're lucky. We'll see. Do we hold our breath? It's kind of a high casting cost. 24 cents oh. market price, baby. Getting there. Doll, oh, Gamer Treasures makes another appearance. Oh, <laughs> Treasures. 
Welcome to the channel, bro. It's always good to have friends stop by. Mm -hmm. We got an emergence zone. Another oath of Kaya. Double tap and Kaya. Wow. Okay, that was kind of close together. Oh, Kaya. This is the Kaya box. So, Lazo Top Plating. That's a fun card. Lazo Tap. And we got Command the Dread Horde. Mm. It's a big boy reanimator. And you better leave that to the the 40 life total games. You can get yourself a Command the Dread Horde currently for 25 cents. Fire. We got another mythic here. Bantu. Oh, it's Bantu. God Eternal Bantu currently goes for $5.66. MTG player. Tulsimer, friend to not my wallet. No. Is that the professor? <laughs> Many Magical Gathering players want to I'll know, just... why did we print a deck for wolves? Why did we make a friend of the wolves? <laughs> I mean, we do want to know. <laughs> Ravnica at no money. Oh! Boy, we're in quite a little... I'm wanting to know where the cash is. That's the question of the day, guys. Let us know in the comments. Oh, uh, so yeah, one hundred and fifty dollars EV. Where is here. the cash? Um, hmm. That's a good question. Karn's Bastion. Karn's Bastion. $3.55. It's on the uptick as well. Ah, it, sh it should continue. I think it's a safe $6 hauler. $6? That sounds pretty interesting. I'm going to go conservative on the $50 tip because proliferate's only going to be valuable for this particular set, I believe, going forward. Well, I hope it goes well because I just pulled another one. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, at least you got $10 there right now. $10. That's kind of kooky. This box has been interesting. We got a Jace. Oh, Jace. A wielder of... Not money. Small monies. <laughs> Is it any money? No. Okay. The wielder of mysteries currently goes for $2.42. War of the Spark is kind of taking me to pound town here. This has not been your prettiest day, <laughs> I will say. And I did rhyme. Thanks, yeah. guys. Thanks, thanks, Happy. Crinko. Crinko Malenko. Let's see if that Crinko's worth more than that Jace. Uh, no. You be quiet. Oh, that Crinko is worth 94 cents. <laughs> oh, we got a Narset and a Narset's reversal. How about that? That is the Narsi pack. Wow. Yeah. Spicy. All right, pack three. We got a steaming pile so far. Dollar eighty nine on that Narset reversal. I'm just gonna. Where's the good cards? Just gonna open a Chandra. What's that? Two two forty nine. Two forty nine and three quarter. It's like gas. You got to pay that extra nine tenths of a penny. Tell you what. Sahili. Sahili. Uh, another foil common. <sighs> Where's the foil Nicopolis? Do you know where he is? Where? Where? That Chandra is currently going for $2.88. Excellent. We have Vraska, another Narset's reversal. Oh, 
what is going on? That's a three dollar holla. That's the fourth double rare. Some spicy pulls here, guys. Oh, we got a Teferi. Teferi in the house. Finally, some oh, good luck. Holy crap. And another foil. It's been a while since we checked the price on that. Let's uh, see what the updated Teferi is going for today. I think he's one to hold on to for sure. If you would like to get one from TCG Player today, it will cost you $10.30. That's actually lower than the he was going for before. That's like a, that's almost like a 60 cent drop because he was at like 11.10. When we filmed our last video, I believe. You yes. have to go back and let us know. But I believe he was in the $11 range. Yep. Boxes is getting open. Packs is getting cracked. You have to stay tuned for box. Not this one. Ugh. I don't this, know, folks. This is the ugly box. A box of shame. I'm just going to... Go bury these cards in the backyard and forget this ever happened. Give them to the squirrels. Maybe they could appreciate these. Raul, the storm conduit. That's a $2.45 card right there. The conduit. He is the condo of conduits. Alright, we got Neoform. We got a Nahiri here. And an Elder Spell. Oh, the Elder Spell. The uh, rarely like, seen. Like $2.30. Elder Spell. According to TCG Player. $2.88. Oh, oh, it's on the uptick as well. Here we go. This is what we need to be doing the whole time. Oh. We got an Ugin oh. and a Foil Vivian. Let's check that out. All right. Making me feel better about myself. That's excellent. Okay, we're going to switch it up. At Card Kingdom, if you would like to get that foil, Vivian, it's going to cost you $5.60. <laughs> Sorry, folks. That was a big old... It's still $5. It's $5. You hold on to a foil. You never know. They might back later. That's right. Foils are usually okay to keep. I'm going to enter the God Eternals. Three mm -hmm. mythic box here. If you would like to get yourself a Ugin, that will cost you $6.49 more than hey. that foil. Wow. But that was like a $13 pack right there. Yeah, Sarkon. Hey, hey. How is Sarkon doing these I bet he's. I bet he's clinging to the $2.00. Clinging, if he even is he. Um, actually, if you would like to get yourself a Sarkon, you're almost at three ninety nine, three eighty seven. People are starting to see what you can do. I mean, in in limited format, Sarkon and like two or three Planeswalkers, it's a good day. And to close her down, we got the Dread Horde Invasion. That's doing. I think it's doing a solid four dollars these days. The dread maybe three. I'm optimistic. Invasion, according to Card Kingdom, we're switching it up on you guys again. You will pay three dollars and ninety nine cents. Wow, folks! This was not the best showing here on Rotted Peach Productions. I'm afraid. Yeah. I mean, I'm kicking myself a little bit. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. But yeah. Where's Lily? Where's Lily? We miss you on the channel, Lily. Well, this is Izzy Dev, Rod Peach Productions. This is Jimmy P. Make sure to like and subscribe. You guys have a great day.